Hi everyone, today I want to show you this USB charger from CDR King. It costs 150 pesos, it has two outputs. One is 2.1 amp and one is 1 amp. Now you might be wondering what's the difference between a 1 amp and a 2 amp charger? And why should you pay more for a 2 amp charger? Well let's say you want to charge your power bank. If your power bank supports 2 amp input, but you connect it to a 1 amp charger, then it's going to charge at half the speed. If you connect it to a 2 amp charger, then it will charge at its top speed. Now some people argue they want to charge their power bank slower because it lengthens the life of the product um, because less heat is generated during charging so the batteries will last longer but in my experience it makes so little difference that you might as well just charge it at its top rate and in this case this one can charge at 2 amps now they have another one which is almost identical but it's cheaper at 120 pesos and that one only has a single USB port but I thought I'll go for the double USB port now although one says 2.1 amp and the other says 1 amp, in my testing I found I was actually able to draw 2.1 amp from either USB port, it didn't seem to make a difference, but the combined total output is 2.1 amp, so you cannot draw 2.1 amp plus 1 amp, it will only split the 2.1 between the two. Anyway, let's try it out. So I'll zoom in on the watt meter, and that's pretty impressive, 5.3 volts, 1.95 amp, over 10 watts. So I would say that's a genuine 2 amp charger. Now like I said the maximum output is 2.1 amp between the two USB ports. So if I plug in a second load which is a USB light Oops! Now did you see what happened there? It actually came undone and if I was to touch those two pins right now I would get an electric shock, I might even be killed and I was actually hoping to touch on that later but it's just kind of I don't know sorry I'm losing my words but it's pretty much shown itself there this is the problem with this USB charger um, first of all before I continue let me just turn off the AC okay so yes that is the problem this piece here is basically just push fitted into the charger so it easily falls out like you just saw there and that is so incredibly dangerous, like insanely dangerous. Now earlier this year Amazon recalled thousands or even hundreds of thousands of their USB chargers because they had the exact same problem when people were trying to unplug them from the wall this bit was disconnecting from the case, it was exposing the live wires and it was a huge safety problem and this charger here basically has the same problem. This bit just pushes in there, it's not a very secure fit if you put it into a tight socket or even just after like a little bit of use with a normal socket it will pretty much just pop out like that and then, like I said, if you were to touch that, you're going to get a major electric shock. Anyway, let's continue with our testing. Now, what I was trying to demonstrate a little while ago is if we have two things plugged in at once, for instance, this USB light and this power bank, then the power is shared between them. The maximum output is 2.1 amp. So right now, the power bank is only drawing 0.6 amp because this light is drawing so much power. So just know that 2.1 amp is shared between the two USB ports. Now the next thing I want to test is whether it can charge an iPhone and an iPad at its top speed because you need some special resistors inside your charger to charge these devices at their top speed. So let's try it out. We'll first start with the 1 amp charger for the iPhone and let's see what we're getting. Okay, that's pretty impressive. Um, hopefully you can see that. 0.98 amp, so nearly a full 1 amp which is pretty much perfect, you can't get better than that with an iPhone 6 at least, so yeah, that's really really good, I'm happy with that. Let's try with the iPad, and remember we're still connected to the 1 amp port, okay it's only drawing 1 amp, let me swap it to the other USB port, 1.95 amp, that is impressive, um, no complaints at all actually, I'm quite surprised because a lot of cheap chargers don't support Apple products, they don't put the resistors in there, so yeah, no complaints actually, that's impressive, it's charging the iPad at a full 2 amp, um, yeah, very very impressive actually, I'm surprised. Now for our final test we use an adjustable load to see how much power we can draw out of each USB port, so we'll start with the 1 amp port, and let's increase this. So 1.15 amps, we're already over the 1 amp, 1.5 amp, 1.94 amp, hopefully you can see this on the camera, let me zoom in, 
let's keep going a little bit higher so did you see what happened there once we went past 2.1 amp the voltage dropped dramatically so it really is like exactly set to around 2.1 amp and then you get the huge huge voltage drop so we're able to draw about 2.1 amp out of the 1 amp socket and if we put it on the 2.1 amp you'll see the same thing that you can go up to 2.1 amp and then the voltage will suddenly drop off and if you put it too high you can see the charge will come on off on off on off so pretty much standard it does have protection against over uh, over current um, one thing i want to test out is if it has short circuit protection so let's try that out so here's a usb cable that's had its power lines tied together let's see what happens we'll do it for a watt meter so we can try and get some idea of what's going on Okay, I can hear it going beep, 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 but it hasn't exploded, which is a good start. Okay, let's try the other USB port. It still seems to be working. Yep, I can hear it again. I don't know if you can hear that on camera. Let me bring it closer to the microphone. Let's remove it. Now let's try plug our USB watt meter back in. And it seems to be okay. Let's put a load on it. Yep, one amp, no problem. So it does have short circuit protection, which is pretty good. Now, one thing I have noticed is if you put a very small load on it, um, let me show you. So if you plug in something like this light, it doesn't draw much power, around 0.2 amp, and it makes this thing squeal. I don't know if you can hear it on the camera. Let me bring it closer to the microphone. Like I said, I'm not sure if you can hear it on the camera, but whenever you plug something in which doesn't draw much power, it really makes this thing squeal, which is not a good indication. So what's the conclusion for this USB charger from CDR King? Well, internally, very good. It can output 2 amp, it can charge the iPad at full speed, iPhone full speed, my power bank at full speed, so internally it's great. But that safety issue where the pins become exposed, the AC pins, that's just like, look, it's just ridiculous that's not safe um, like if I was to touch that right now I would get a serious electric shock maybe even death so uh, it's just not safe and honestly I think they're gonna have to do the same as Amazon and recall them whether they will or not I don't know but oops nearly got a bit close there um, yeah anyway be very 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 careful with this charger so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give a thumbs up and subscribe thanks for watching